This is Disneyland News Today. I'm Eric Morton, filling in for Tom Corliss, who's at Disneyland this week for Oogie Boogie Bash and, of course, for D23 Expo. But anyway, here are the top Disneyland Resort stories for September 8th, 2022. Well, today is everyone's favorite holiday. That's right. It's Disney Plus Day. To celebrate, Disney gave out free buttons and ear hats to guests visiting the Disneyland Resort. Both the ears and buttons show off the Disney Plus logo in its dark blue and white color scheme. The button specifically notes the date of Disney Plus Day, September 8th, 2022. The ear hats show the logo with pluses on the ears in shades of blue and white. The back is blank, but they can be embroidered at Kingswell Camera Shop for $4.99 for basic fonts or $7.99 for those fancy premium fonts. Guests uh, that are ages 10 and younger can get an extra surprise from a with a free Mickey Mouse balloon appropriately for Disney Plus Day. The free balloons are all blue, though there's no special indication that they are uh, Disney Plus Day balloons. They only show Mickey's face with Disneyland written underneath. But hey, free balloons, kids. Let us know your family's traditions celebrating Disney Plus Day. I know around here uh, we like to take our spare money, not the change, but maybe the folding money, and leave it out next to the fireplace for Bob Chapek on Disney Plus Eve. Uh, fun tradition. I recommend you uh, pick one for your family, too. The fortune and glory can be yours with two new artifacts inspired by the first two Indiana Jones movies now available at the Disneyland Resort. They join the replicas of the Fertility Idol, Sankara Stone, Holy Grail, and Crystal Skull previously released. This figurine is based on the one from Indiana Jones and a Temple of Doom, which Zalim Singh used against the intrepid explorer. It comes with a replica of Indy's trademark fedora, jacket and whip, as well as the pointed pin used to keep him at bay. It's decorated with rhinestone accents and a black feather. This one sells for $130. Fans of Raiders of the Lost Ark will be sure to recognize this headpiece from the staff of Raw. In the 1981 film, Indiana Jones uses it to help discover the location of the Ark of the Covenant. The zinc alloy medallion is finished in a gold color with a rhinestone accent in the bird's eye. It sells for $75. We found both of these at Disney Anna and Disneyland. A new casting call seems to indicate that Magic Happens Parade might be returning to Disneyland sometime soon. Recently, a call on the Disney, uh, Disney Careers portal went out for parade performers, specifically for dancers and lookalike roles. Sources confirmed to WWNT that a Christmas fantasy parade has already been cast for the holiday season, so this would likely indicate a separate parade. Uh, as you may know, Magic Happens premiered in February of 2020, just weeks before the Disneyland Resort uh, closed for COVID-19. When the resor resort reopened, the parade did not return. Back in November of 2021, Disney stated that they had no current plans to revive the parade. But as parades have already returned to Disneyland, the time may be ripe to, re to reawaken the magic. Imagineers are getting shiny new name tags in honor of the 70th anniversary of Walt Disney Imagineering. Zach Ridley shared a photo of his new name tag and his very shiny fingernails on Instagram. The tags are shiny silver with Walt Disney Imagineering along the bottom. Red lines are around the edge. 70s at the top with Sorcerer Mickey's silhouette in the red and blue zero. Disneyland cast members are also getting new name tags in honor of the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company. And Walt Disney World cast members, well, they already got new name tags for the resort's 50th anniversary last year. With Oogie Boogie Bash finally here, we're getting our first looks at some of the evil and not-so-evil characters that guests will be able to encounter at Disney California Adventure. You can watch us interact with the Sanderson sisters as portrayed by Daisy, Minnie, and Clarabelle, or maybe meet Madame Mim. Undead superstar Ernesto de la Cruz, how about that one for you? Uh, Mother Gothel, and the often misunderstood Bruno. We have the videos right here on our channel. Feel free to check them out. Pim Tasting Lab at Avengers Campus in Disney California Adventure has new snack molecules just for fall and Halloween time. The new snack molecules are flavored popcorn, mini pretzels, honey roasted peanuts, and popped uh, sorghum with mini peanut butter candies and the bag can be yours for $7.50. These snack molecules, uh, we said they're nothing special. They're hardly different from the snack molecules that we've had here many times over. The combination of spiced popcorn, candy bits, and pretzels seems more like something scraped out of a toddler's car seat than something that was intentionally combined to be eaten in such a manner. I feel, I feel a little bit attacked here. There's nothing that really makes this mix hang together, uh, whereas other iterations of the snack molecules have had either a unifying flavor profile or something 
something that gives reason for all these ingredients to be together, something that makes them all feel cohesive. This one does not, and you wind up with a dry handful of crunchy, underwhelming popcorn that is more expensive than the fresh popcorn you can get at any corner stand in the park. In all, we were a little disappointed by these, and we hope the recipe creator, I guess that's Scott Lang, we hope he heads back to the drawing board. Check out the full review on our site. You can support the entire team behind this show and others by joining the WDWNT Inner Globe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. Get access to exclusive content, discounted show and event tickets, and more. A special shout out to all the WIGS members watching who make this show happen every week. As part of the ongoing transformation of the hotel, the sign on Disney's Paradise Pier Hotel has been removed. The hotel has had most of its exterior elements removed as it's being rethemed to the art of Pixar. But you can check out these pictures on our site. Now, with the D23 Expo just days away, it is now expected that among the announcements from the Parks and Resorts Division this weekend will be the replacement of World of Color at Disney California Adventure with an entirely new show. World of Color, a nighttime fountain, laser, and projection spectacular, debuted in 2010 as part of the major overhaul of the park and has been a guest favorite ever since. It was replaced for Disneyland's 60th anniversary Diamond Celebration with World of Color Celebrate the Wonderful World of Walt Disney temporarily in 2015 and 16 and seasonally over the years with various Christmas versions. This would be the first attempt since the not so well received 2015 version to replace the full regular show. All we know at this point is that the new World of Color show is for certain in development. It's not clear what the theme is, but it can be assumed that part of the celebration uh, will be for the 100 years of Walt Disney Company. It's going to begin at Disneyland Resort in early 2023. Also expected to be announced is a new fireworks show for Disney Park called Wondrous, which will celebrate 100 years of Disney animation. Both shows have not been officially announced at this time, but it's likely they're going to be announcing them uh, at this weekend's uh, D23 Expo. Speaking of D23 Expo, we have a full list of every speculated Disney Parks announcement from new rides to anticipated openings coming up. As for Disneyland specific predictions, well, here's a taste. These come from our, our uh, editorial team, primarily Tom. Uh, we have first up the wondrous fireworks spectacular, a brand new fireworks show for Disneyland is expected to be announced as part of the Disney 100 Years of Wonder celebration. Uh, return of the People Mover. Uh, we expect that the People Mover will finally return to Disneyland as part of an overhaul to Tomorrowland. The new version will reportedly be a modified powered roller coaster system with a shorter track. Uh, Encanto Treehouse to replace Tarzan's Treehouse. Uh, Tarzan's Treehouse closed rather unceremoniously over a year ago, and it's generally assumed that an Encanto-themed replacement is on the way to Adventureland. Uh, seating area replacing Star Wars Launch Bay. Well, it appears the Carousel Theater is now safe, th safe thanks to a DVC club lounge. An announcement is still expected of some sort to overhaul the bottom floor home to Star Wars Launch Bay. Uh, Lightyear Mountain also maybe replacing Space Mountain. We went out on a limb with this one a while back. Uh, while the commercial failure of the film might cast doubt on this project, it was expected uh, at the time that a new version of Space Mountain themed to Lightyear, the Lightyear film, would be announced. Um, we'll see about that. New details maybe for Tiana's Bayou Adventure could be coming. A foregone conclusion as Disney has already stated that the Parks and Resorts Pavilion will preview this new attraction. Uh, we don't have a closing date or time frame for Splash Mountain yet at Disneyland. A closing date uh, is expected to be announced likely in the very early 2023. How about new details on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway? With the opening just months away, we expect new date details on the second version of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, uh, one that is now confirmed to be different from the Florida counterpart. New details on reimagined Mickey's Toontown could be coming. Uh, more details are expected for the remainder of the Toontown overhaul project in general. Is there ever going to be an Avengers e-ticket attraction? An Avengers e-ticket uh, was announced many years ago for Hong Kong Disneyland, but then it was shelved. It was then shelved again after initially being planned for Avengers Campus at Disney California Adventure, only to be announced on stage at D23 Expo in 2019. Then the pandemic happened. Disney stopped mentioning the project and even ripped the concept art for it off the walls of a hotel at Disneyland Paris. It's unclear if the project is completely dead, if some new concept might take its place, or Disney will simply scrap all ideas for the plot in favor of a Black Panther Wakanda themed land in a different location. Uh, that new world of color, nighttime spectacular we just talked about. Um, how about new names, uh, details and names for a DVC tower at Disneyland Hotel? 
And with the op opening likely uh, sale date not far away, we expect to get an official name and additional details on the new DVC Tower at the Disneyland Hotel. Uh, new details in the name of the Pixar Hotel replacing Disney's Paradise Pier we just talked about. After nixing a solely Toy Story theme, it, when it, it was announced that Disney's Paradise Pier Hotel would be converted into a Pixar art hotel. We suspect new details and maybe even a name for the hotel will be announced. New details on the reimagining of Downtown Disney District. Uh, will we anticipate new details on the ongoing reimagining of Downtown Disney District in Anaheim? Uh, what about Magic Band Plus launch date? That might be coming. Disneyland Resort has remained quiet on when Magic Band Plus will launch in Anaheim, but we should find out um, hopefully this weekend. As I said, these are this is a lot of speculation. Not speculation for me. This is coming from Tom, who's educated and in touch and in the know. So hopefully, uh, hopefully there's a lot of exciting news for us coming this weekend. Celebrate all your favorite spooky Disney characters with the Frightfully Fun Parade at Oogie Boogie Bash in Disney California Adventure. Uh, leading the parade, as always, is the Headless Horseman aboard, well, a real horse, and behind are Mickey and Minnie in their Halloween costumes, along with dancers. They lead the title float, which features playful depictions of spiders, ghosts, and, of course, Mickey Pumpkins. First in line after that is the mayor of Halloween Town in his car, complete with the megaphone on top. Some of Halloween Town's vampires follow close behind. And of course, don't miss Jack Skellington and Zero aboard their very own float. Following Jack and Zero are some of the Haunted Mansion's ballroom dancers. Aboard the Haunted Mansion float, then, we have Ezra, Gus, and Phineas, of course, the hitchhiking ghost. Constance Hatchway, she's, she's sitting in the back. Keep your, eye, keep your eyes peeled for her. Uh, Dr. Facilier, then, is on the final float with voodoo symbols and an overgrown bayou surrounding him. Finally, Ursula Jafar, Captain Hook, Judge Frollo, and Queen of Hearts wrap up the parade. You can watch the whole video right here on our channel. For the absolute latest in Disneyland news, head on over to DisneylandNewsToday.com and of course, follow us on your favorite social media platforms. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more content, click the bell for notifications, and hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of Disneyland News Today. For DLNT, this is Eric Morton saying enjoy the rest of your today and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. From WDWNT TV, this is Park Center. Join us each week for news and discussion topics from the Disney and Universal theme parks around the world. We cover the stories in a quick, concise, and fun format, and then our panel breaks down and debates some of the biggest issues and what they mean for us, the parks fans. From the latest announcements to openings and delays to scandals and snacks and merchandise and more, we'll cover it all in 90 minutes. Join us live every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on YouTube at WDWNT TV or watch episodes on demand anytime. You can also subscribe to the audio version of the show on your favorite podcast app.